Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. First flight for WISC Gen 6 autonomous eVTOL aircraft. EVE's full-scale eVTOL prototype logs made in flight. And NASA welcomes new administrator Jared Isaacman. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. First flight for WISC Gen 6 autonomous eVTOL aircraft. WISC Aero announced the successful completion of the first flight of its Gen 6 aircraft, a critical step forward in the company's quest to deliver the first certified autonomous passenger carrying eVTOL aircraft to market in the U.S. WISC is the only developer that has designed, built, and flown six generations of eVTOL vehicles. The aircraft performed its initial vertical takeoff, hover, and stabilized flight maneuvers at the company's flight test facility in Hollister, California. The first flight validated the core flight systems of the aircraft and is an essential first step in progressing to a comprehensive flight test campaign. This Generation 6 aircraft is the one WISC identifies in its certification application and is relying on in its certification project. Sebastian Vigneron, CEO of WISC, said, quote, This first flight is the moment our team has been working toward, and it's such a powerful demonstration of the work, expertise, and commitment that has gone into the Gen 6 program. Seeing Gen 6 take flight is an exciting moment for WISC and the future of aviation, end quote. WISC used the knowledge gleaned from the previous five generations of aircraft and over 1,700 test flights to refine the development of the Gen 6 model. After the break, Archer Aviation runs with White House Executive Order. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Archer Aviation runs with White House Executive Order. Archer Aviation was quick to take advantage of the White House's push to expand advanced air mobility, announcing that it's pursuing partnerships with multiple U.S. cities to launch early electric air taxi operations. This comes on the heels of a new AAM-focused executive order and the release of DOT's long-awaited national AAM strategy. President Trump's Unleashing Drone Dominance Executive Order established the eVTOL Integration Pilot Program, or EIPP. It aims to create practical, near-term pathways for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to begin limited operations in U.S. cities. NATA welcomes U.S. DOT's national strategy on AAM. NATA greeted the DOT's release of the Advanced Air Mobility National Strategy. It was announced on the anniversary of the Wright brothers' first powered flight and represents the spirit of innovation and progress that has led American aviation for over a century. The strategy sets up a long-term framework that calls for federal action, interagency coordination, and collaboration among local, state, tribal, and territorial governments and stakeholders in the industry that will focus on safety, infrastructure readiness, and workforce development as foundational for the successful integration of AAM. Rocket Lab lands $816 million contract for missile tracking satellites. Rocket Lab has earned its largest single contract to date, receiving $816 million from the U.S. Space Development Agency to build 18 missile tracking satellites for the Space Force's Tracking Layer Tranche 3 program. The award covers the design and production of spacecraft intended to detect and track advanced missile threats, including hypersonic weapons. The contract includes an $806 million base award, plus up to $10.45 million in options. The satellites will be part of the proliferated warfighter space architecture. Joby prepares to double U.S. manufacturing in 2027. Joby Aviation is laying out plans to double its U.S. manufacturing capacity, targeting a new production rate of four electric air taxis per month in 2027. 
The boost is being aided by growing operations at Joby's California and Ohio facilities. The announcement comes as Joby continues the long haul toward FAA-type certification of its eVTOL. The company is steadily progressing through power-on testing of the first FAA-conforming aircraft intended for type inspection authorization, which is the final phase of the certification process for FAA test pilots to evaluate the aircraft. That's it for our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. EVE's full-scale eVTOL prototype logs made in flight. EVE Air Mobility's uncrewed full-scale eVTOL engineering prototype has successfully gone airborne, marking the transition from rigorous lab and component testing to an even more rigorous flight test campaign. The milestone reinforces EVE's current schedule to get type certified, complete initial deliveries, and enter service in 2027. The aircraft lifted off at Embraer's test facility in Brazil on December 19th, officially kicking off EVE's integrated flight test program with hover performance and basic system validation. This allowed the prototype to demonstrate successful integration of key systems, including its fifth-generation fly-by-wire architecture and fixed-pitch lifter rotors. Luis Valentini, EVE's chief technical officer, said, quote, The prototype behaved as predicted by our models. With these data points, we will expand the envelope and progress toward transition to wingborne flight in a disciplined manner, ramping up to hundreds of flights throughout 2026 and building the knowledge required for type certification, end quote. The flight campaign will rely on six conforming prototypes, all intended to support certification rather than marketing demos. EVE is working primarily with Brazil's Civil Aviation Authority, ANAC, as its lead certifying body, while continuing coordination with the FAA and EASA to simplify future certification efforts as much as possible. After these messages, NASA welcomes new administrator Jared Isaacman. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. NASA welcomes new administrator Jared Isaacman. Jared Rook Isaacman was sworn in on December 18, 2025, as the 15th administrator of NASA by District Judge Timothy J. Kelly. Isaacman took the oath during a ceremony held at the Eisenhower Executive Office Building in Washington, D.C. In his new role, Isaacman will lead the agency in its pursuit of exploration, scientific discovery, and innovation. Isaacman said, quote, I'm deeply honored to be sworn in as NASA Administrator. NASA's mission is as imperative and urgent as ever to push the boundaries of human exploration, ignite the orbital economy, drive scientific discovery, and innovate for the benefit of all humanity. I look forward to serving under President Trump's leadership and restoring a mission-first culture at NASA, focused on achieving ambitious goals, to return American astronauts to the moon, establish an enduring presence on the lunar surface, and lay the groundwork to deliver on President Trump's vision of planting the stars and stripes on Mars." End quote. Isaacman was nominated by President Donald Trump on November 4th and confirmed by the Senate in a vote on December 17th. Isaacman is an accomplished pilot, astronaut, experienced entrepreneur, philanthropist, and pioneer in commercial spaceflight. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.